So if you're thinking about doing dropshipping in 2024, you must watch this video. I've achieved over $5 million using the TikTok platform. And I'm not trying to bring it up to brag, but the first thing that I want to mention is, is TikTok getting banned? When will it get banned? How will it affect you? Now, as you guys know, TikTok is the biggest social media platform, which means that that is our gold mine. Now, the truth is, even if TikTok was to get banned, and that is literally the worst case scenario, you would not see the effect for at least 180 days once the Senate approves that decision. You still have pretty much till the end of the year to take advantage of the TikTok platform. Now, I don't want to go into politics too much, but basically what's happening is the US and China are warring over TikTok and obviously the US want to get their hands on it. So they're trying to say to TikTok, look, if you don't sell us this company, we're then going to ban it instead. And this is why it's so important to pivot and not just rely on one platform. That's why when I start drop shipping, I always do Facebook ads, TikTok ads, Google ads, Pinterest ads, and I got plenty of tutorials on this channel that you can check out. So guys, the second thing that I want to cover is a massive opportunity. Now, I'm actually going to be giving you the softwares that I use every single day in my dropshipping stores that actually help me, and it's AI based. So guys, the first AI software that I use to my advantage in 2024 is called Opus Clip. When you come to Opus Clip, it says one long video, 10 viral clips, create 10 faster. So what this does, it's an AI generator that will take a long form video and cut it into 10 viral clips that are in TikTok format. So if you're struggling to understand where the value comes with this software, you want to sign up to a free account. And when you sign up to a free account, you actually get one hour and 28 minutes worth of editing for free. So let's say hypothetically, I found a drop shipping product that I want to sell and it's this floating football. I want to go on YouTube, type in the name of the product and you can see here, loads of good videos are coming up. Now, why does this matter? So let's say for example, I want to get really quick, good content ready for my ads. I might want to copy the link of this video, go back to Opus Clip, paste it here, and then it's going to create me a video. So what I'm going to quickly do is show you the original video on the screen of what this video looked like on YouTube. You can see it's some form of like YouTube community kind of podcasting going over the product. You can see the intro is not valid. They're just waffling. But then in the video in the middle, it actually demonstrates the product really nicely. So that's great for me, but I can't be asked to edit this myself. So let me get Opus to do it for me. So as you guys can see, I'm going to paste the link here. And you can see now it's loading to indicate that it's starting to work on the file. You can see it's chose it. And then here it's showing me what type of captions would I like. Would I like the karaoke version, the Mr. Beast one, Ali Abdul style? Which style am I going for? Now, typically, as we're doing dropshipping videos, I normally go with the simple version. If it's not the simple version, then I do go with the karaoke version. Then it's going to give you some options like only add caption without clipping. I'm not going to go for that. Generate a video. I'm going to go to auto. Now, what you can do is you can choose what kind of genre that your video is for. So I'm going to say sports and commentary, and then you can choose the processing time. You can choose the preferred clip length. Now, obviously, if we're doing ads, we want to stick between 30 seconds and 60 seconds. So I'm going to choose both of these options. And then once you've done that, guys, you can then see here, it says topic filter. So you can put some topics in if you want to, but I'm not going to. So I'm going to click here where it says get clips. Now you can see once you've done that, it's going to give you a drawdown on the estimated white weight time for this. So it's saying 12 minutes before it delivers the video for me. And as you can see, after 12 minutes, it's delivered this video and we're going to watch it together. So as you guys just saw the video clip right there, it's honestly mind blowing how good that was, figuring out where the good hook was and then getting the video to go nicely into promoting the product. It even gives you a breakdown of how the video goes and what's included. But as you just saw there, that is literally perfect for me to start using as an ad. Now, if I really want to be picky, what I can do is edit it. So you can see here, it says edit clip. You click this. Now, when you're in the editor, you can choose to change the captions by clicking captions and you can click on words and edit it or change it. And then if you go to design, you can change the design. You can use B-roll if you want to. You can use emojis and you can keep captions on or off if you want to. So these are some options that you've got if you want to use them. Normally, I just use the generic options that it gives me. So guys, the second AI software that I'm using every single day for my dropshipping store is Adobe Firefly. Now it's completely free to use it. You can see here, get Adobe Firefly for free. You click that button and it will take you to this section. Now you're probably thinking, when am I ever going to use this? So if you're creating content for your website, like a homepage banner, or you're using some images for your ads, like image ads, then this is a great option to get you backgrounds for those scenarios. So you can see here, it says prompt, describe the image that you want to generate. So I'm going to say, I want 
our football background. So you can see after doing that, it's then generated these cartoon football icons, which aren't the ones that I want. So you can see here where it says content type art. I don't want art, so I'm gonna do photo. Now you'll see that it'll completely change what I want. I also don't want square one-to-one -one because I'm designing this as a homepage banner. So I'm gonna change it to landscape or widescreen. For now, landscape, and then I'm gonna click generate. So as you guys can see, it's generated these images of these kids on a football background. Remember, these are all unique content. Now this is actually a great image to have on a homepage. So if you come to the left-hand side, you can start making adjustments to these images if you want to, or if you're not happy with it, then you can come back to the prompt and say, okay, I want a football background without any people in it. And then it will just give you a football background. But this way you're gonna get really nice, unique, high quality content for your homepage on your websites or content for your ads as well. So before we move on with today's video, I wanna say a massive thank you to today's sponsor, which is Gelotto. Now, if you guys don't know what Gelotto is, they are the best print on demand company for e-commerce and drop shipping. Now, if you don't know what print on demand is, you've been sleeping under a rock. Print on demand is a very lucrative opportunity for e-commerce and drop shippers. It enables you to sell items like clothing, or pillows or anything where you can add some unique designs to a wearable product or things like pillows, notebooks, teacups. Now the beauty is within the name of the industry, print on demand. You only print on the demand that you get sales. So let's say somebody comes to your Shopify store, places an order on a t-shirt that you designed, then the company Gelato works with one of their best providers to get that order sent and shipped to your customer. That way you're not risking any inventory and you're saving money on costs. Now the great thing about Gelato is they have the best network of suppliers when it comes to print on demand and they have them all over the world. That way they can ensure very fast delivery times as low as a few days and to make sure the product quality is as high as possible. It is super easy to sign up for Gelato, create an account using my exclusive link, that way you're gonna get 50% off your first order and it's completely free to sign up and once you've signed up, you connect it with your e-commerce platform which primarily will be most of you guys using Shopify. As soon as you've linked it with your Shopify store, you can start creating lots of designs designs on loads of different products that they have in their catalog. And all you need to do to check what products they have is go to their catalog page, scroll through all the catalog. That way you can choose a wide range of products from their catalog like t-shirts, jackets, pillowcases, mugs, and you can choose the colors. What type of printing is it gonna be? Is it gonna be embroidered or is it gonna be screen printed? You can choose a wide set of options for your needs. And as soon as you've created a design, you can save them to your store and start selling them on your e-commerce platform. Now that's not all guys, Gelato have even more features that you can check out in your home dashboard that you must take advantage of if you wanna get the best opportunity within the print on demand industry. Now, some of the biggest drop shippers in the world combine normal drop shipping with print on demand to maximize average order value. That's why it's essential to incorporate print on demand with your drop shipping stores and your e-commerce businesses. And there is no other place to do it than with Gelato. So make sure you check them out with the link in the description to get 50% off your first order. And thank you again, Gelato, for sponsoring today's video. So guys, the third software that I want to talk about is going to be Tidio or Tidio. I'm not sure how I'm pronouncing it, but I've been using these guys now for almost five years in my industry. Now, Tidio and Tidio is designed for customer support, customer retention, and they have designed an AI chatbot that integrates with your Shopify store. That's going to really help you with customer support, engaging customers, makes FAQs conversational, identifies popular topics, provides data-backed answers, and gives your customers resources on the spot. Now, obviously, Obviously, the benefits of having this will save you money in terms of hiring VAs. You don't need to hire staff or pay for training. It will increase your customer support efficiency. Now, I'm not going to be going over Tidio live chat for too much because I made a whole one hour video going over this app in full tutorial. I just haven't really talked about the AI chatbot before, but you can learn about all of this on their website and in the app. Now, the last AI software that I'm using is the most popular one, ChatGBT, but not any ChatGBT, ChatGBT4, which is a paid option but honestly, it increases the intelligence by so, so much that I'd recommend that everyone gets. Now, I primarily use ChatGBT4 for market research, audience research, and a little bit of copywriting. So for example, if I'm selling that floating football, I know what my product is, I roughly know who my audience is, but I want ChatGBT to give me a very, very good 
indication of who exactly they are, where they are, and what are their other interests. So as you guys can see, I asked GBT, I'm selling a floating football on my online shop. What type of people like this product and where are they located? So first off, they go with the type of people that might want to buy the product. And this is based on data. Number one, tech enthusiasts, sports fan. That's the obvious one. So if I was to advertise a product on Facebook, I would choose sports as an interest target. Now, the good thing about this is it's telling me people outside of that, that I wouldn't think of like tech enthusiasts, parents, educators, and collectors. The typical thing that most dropshippers would do is go to the obvious people. So this is a great way to find people outside of the obvious people to sell the product to. Then the next thing they go over is where are they located? Global urban centers, sports fan regions, and online communities. So these are great places for me to also target in terms of interests and audiences. So like when you target people on Facebook, TikTok, you can choose where are those people based? What are they also interested in? And these are great options as well. I then asked ChatGBT what the next element is, which is what countries are they based in? So you can see it breaks it down per interest and audience. Tech enthusiast, the US, South Korea, Japan, Germany, sports fan, and it gives me all of those countries. Parents that are buying, so it really breaks it down really nicely into people based on the audience and what country. That way, when I'm doing my ads, I know exactly what countries are going to be the hot ones. So for example, some people might not realize that Germany was a great one for this. Some people might not realize that Spain and Italy is a great one for this. So these are great ways to find out audience research. Now, the next thing I asked ChatGBT is what types of content did these people like? So it's going over tech enthusiasts, like how to videos, tech reviews, behind the scenes, then it goes over sports fan. Now, why is this so powerful, guys? Because when I make creatives for my ads, Facebook, TikTok, if I wanna target tech enthusiasts, as a group of people, I'll do it in a separate campaign, targeting tech enthusiasts, then the creatives that I'll make are how-to videos, tech review and behind the scenes. So I'll make creatives for that. If I'm then targeting sports interests, then I will use these types of creatives for those people. So I'm breaking it down per audience type. Now this type of information is the kind of stuff you should be asking from ChatGBT because it will help the precision of your marketing efforts. You're not just shooting in the blind, you know a rough idea of what you should be doing and how you should be breaking it down. Now, the next thing that I wanna cover is something that is very, very important. And you need to pay full attention to what I'm trying to say, cryptocurrency. So Bitcoin has now hit a new all-time high. The types of people that watch these videos on YouTube, so yourself that are watching this, you are people what we call entrepreneurial minded. You are looking for ways to make money online. Now, if you see something like crypto going crazy, you're then gonna think, oh, stop doing drop shipping. Crypto is this new golden thing, let's go to crypto. So let me show you something quickly on the computer screen. I'm on Google Trends and I've got dropshipping as a topic in the blue and I've got cryptocurrency as a topic in the red. Now I'm doing it based on YouTube search since 2008 and worldwide. Now you can see the two charts competing against each other. Now dropshipping is currently going down meaning that the interest for this is slowing down but the interest for actual cryptocurrency is going crazy. You can see here it's going absolutely parabolic. Now you can also see that when dropshipping peaked, cryptocurrency basically found a bottom in terms of interest. So they're very correlated. When one goes up, the other goes down. Because the same people that watch dropshipping videos are the same people that watch cryptocurrency videos because they are looking to make money, guess what, online. Now why am I bringing this up? Because I actually brought this up back in 2021 in November when Bitcoin peaked right here, I brought this same thing up. And I'm gonna bring it up again. When people are distracted with crypto, this is the best time for you who's watching this right now to start dropshipping because most dropshippers are now not taking dropshipping as serious, which means that your comp which means that your competition as a beginner is drastically lowered. Facebook ads will be cheaper for you. Less people are running the same products as you because they are all chasing the new meme coin. Now, I've shown this before in a few other videos, but I'm going to show it again. Now, you can see here, it breaks it down to employee, self-employee, business owner, and investor. Basically, if you wanna get rich in life, guys, you need to be on this side of the quadrant. Now, the problem is, a lot of people are now going from here, which is the employee, you're now employed or self-employed, and you're now going straight as an investor. You're now wanting to do cryptocurrency. You've got a few hundred dollars, you've got a few thousand dollars. I'm sorry to tell you this, 
but you might see a few people get rich off investing a few hundred dollars into a meme coin or a small cap coin, but the percentages of that are drastically, drastically small. You need to stick to a business, which is what dropshipping is, and then once you've seen some success, you can move that into crypto if you really want to. And that's exactly what I did personally, and I do believe that's the most sensible, logical way of doing this. So guys, before we end today's video, I wanna go over one more crucial app that you should be using in Shopify dropshipping in 2024, and that's gonna be Upromote Affiliate Marketing. Now, I've been talking about this company and this app now for over four and a half years, and you can see it's built for Shopify, so they meet the highest standard of quality on Shopify. You can see it right here. So this isn't just some little app. This is one of the best highest quality apps on the marketplace and it's in the name, it's affiliate marketing. Now a lot of people sleep on affiliate marketing and it's a really bad idea to sleep on. You can incorporate affiliates even when you're running ads on your store. If you have something like this incorporated in your store and you set it up correctly, this will work for you passively in the background. And the fact that they have a free plan, it only makes sense to actually take advantage of this. So I just wanna quickly show you how this works. So let's say somebody comes to your Shopify store and they wanna sign up as an affiliate. They're gonna get a little page like this where they have to fill it in to then become an affiliate and you can customize this to fit with your brand. You could have on your product page as an example or as an email after they buy the product, it could say, now you've bought the product, why don't you help promote it and earn a commission? These are just different ways you can actively integrate this every day into your store. Now you can see this is an example of what I've just mentioned. So you can see here there's an email that gets sent out that says invite to get $10 off. Now although this app isn't mandatory for your success in drop shipping, it's a smart app, meaning that you're already gonna be spending money, guys. So whether or not you spend $100, would you wanna make the most of that $100? This is one way to do that. Don't forget to smash the like button. Don't forget to enter the giveaway and I'll catch you guys on the next video.